Welcome back to episode two of our family vlog. Last week we left you on the family farm in Denmark with our friends Shane and Yana just about to roll into camp. Let's get on with it. Now, quick bit of backstory. Uh, Shane and Yana are foster carers and they have a 14 year old girl who's coming with them. Um, and she's uh, gonna be in care with them for a while. And uh, we're not sure if what we can talk about with her as, as far as like identifying her with name or, or images or whatever. So we're gonna keep that to a minimum just in case you're wondering who this faceless and tongueless person is um, in the video. <laughs> she's really, really lovely um, uh, and yeah. We can't wait to have her along because she's great value. Um, it's annoying because she loves selfies and TikTok, so she'd probably love it, love to be on YouTube videos, but unfortunately, that's the lull. <laughs> so we'll see them soon. Uh, it's very close. Give me a sec. Uh, it should be all right, actually. Well, as you can see, they're here. So, I'm gonna try and set up camp. Okay, long, a metre to the right. So if you hear me saying long, it's my mate Shane. We call him long because he's six foot four long. We started dinner, which is going to be, we can't be bothered doing anything difficult, so it's going to be some like lamb cutlet schnitzel things and some chicken schnitzel because it's what we have and some good old potato gems in the camp oven and some greens. Really, really simple. This is just a, we're absolutely knackered and we can't be bothered dinner, um, but it's also, it's realistically what we do have when we can't be bothered. And Bill is asleep and happy, so. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna use the soda stream. Where oh, was yeah, that? Over there. there. Just there. They're like literally <laughs> left out in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Could be easier to find. Do you want to just use our bubbly water first? This is Shane. Well, oh, no, I'm Yana. making solar. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, you've got this a special long. thing. Yeah. yeah nice. And that a mystery person. A mystery person. Hello, mystery person. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Fred. And that's magpie. Magpie is a great name. Oh, she's a good name. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like oh, you used that so joke ready before. To be your dad. Where's your thingy? Go ahead, thingy. My head thingy. Go ask Shane because he got one for you. I had a pretty good night. Um, <laughs> Sam didn't. Sam was up every hour for the night which is pretty brutal. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot to say. She's having a sleep now, obviously. I'm taking Bill. Hopefully she can get in a few hours. Um, we'll see what happens. We don't know what's going on. Again, the curse trip. Nice morning though. Put the billy on. Hey. And the other billy. I saw this baby out. So this is Magpie the lizard, and that's Fred the dog. They love these couches. How's your first night in the camper? Yeah, pretty good. Cozy, despite the fact it was cold as shit. <laughs> um, ah, nice. good. Even enough leg room, which yeah. I was surprised by. Plenty of Long. longness. Now from this angle it looks really short. The thing is, we're on a big hill, so the drawbar is like on the ground. Um, you can see it's very low here, very high there. Exact opposite of the situation we've got with ours, which is drawbar way up in the air. Yeah, the bum's very low. Now we're going to attempt the um, awning. Well, Godspeed. With all the Instructions. Good instructions, though. Hmm. We'll see. That's the one. So yeah, the guy who hired it to them, Caravan and Camp Hire Australia, the city was very professional, very good. 
knew exactly what he was talking about. And I've got to say, the thing is spotless. So it's a really good, I reckon hiring a camper like this is a really good way to work out whether you want a camper, what style you want, what style of camper you want. Um, so if you wanted, you know, you go, oh, rear fold or a forward fold, or maybe I want, you know, like a soft floor because we do a lot of base camping. I do a lot of off-road. I want to do this, that, whatever. You can, this is a, I reckon it's a really good way of working it out. And we've actually, we've hired from Campify before, but we hired like an old Jippo caravan, <laughs> which was just to take Bill away once um, because we were camping on a mate's farm, so we didn't need anything um, that could go off-road. So we just thought it'd be fun. And this is what, 80, 85 bucks a day? Long? 85 a day? Yeah, 85 a day Yeah. for the basics and then I think you pay an, an extra fee, not per day, just a total fee like for a solar blanket or electric brake controller or things like that. Yeah, because you don't have a brake controller. But they have pretty much everything you can think of barring the car. Okay, I'm cool. sure someone can hire you and that as well. And you can actually hire cars. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that. Um, hey, oh yeah, cool setup. All right, I want to see this thing. First time sitting up in a, a cab trailer awning. I don't know how hard that can be. First time. <laughs> Possibly go wrong. <laughs> I'm not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Forty kilo lap dog. See? All dogs uh, are lap dogs. All dogs are lap dogs. Don't let them tell you tell you otherwise. Go on, bugger. And then the other <laughs> lap dog. It's taken up two seats. Normal amount of seats for a dog. Yeah. Very um chilled morning this morning. It's lovely. We've uh, had coffee, had some jaffles. Um, Bill's got changed out of his sleep suit. And Sam, how'd you go last night? Oh yeah, you know, up every hour from one. Lovely. That was fun. Yeah, he yeah. seems a lot. Yeah, he's happier now today. A lot happier today. Yeah. Aren't you little boy? Aren't you happy little boy? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, he's back to normal today. <clears throat> mm. Now, Yana, you finished packing up. I mean, setting up. No, Not you quite. Did. There's still There's still more things you can do. Mm. Please talk. I love talk to. Now. I'm just doing some dental hygiene. No, no, um, no, no I need you to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you around. Kitchen's, this is a great little kitchen actually. Um, oh, I should be clear, I'm not going to do a comparison of the Cub and the NBC. Um, they're a different price point, they're a different camper. Um, this is not a comparison video, this is a, um, this is a vlog. Um, and these guys are trying out different campers. So um, it's not a comparison between the Cub and the NBC, it's a it's a does this setup work for these guys? And you know, would they consider buying one? So that, that's that's more of what we're looking at here, just so we're clear. Um, how did it tow? Yeah, uh, it towed really well. The trailer did well, the car did mediocre to poorly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 2.8 litre patrol. Diesel have gone up hills, just didn't really like it. Yeah, but it turns out um, 2.8s have come a long way in the last 22 years. What? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't believe they're not exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of fourth, quite a more third than I'd like to admit. <laughs> more um, 75 kilometers an hour at the very end of the hill type of thing. Yeah. Which is pretty oh. painful. <laughs> so, how big is this fridge? I'd be guessing that that's about a 70, 75 That's a lot minute. of the health food. Yeah, lots of health food. Um, we've got, actually, that that solar blanket is actually Ronnie's. Thanks, Ronnie. It's a 300 watt KT solar. Um, in the shade, it's giving us five amps. Really? <laughs> Just every time. Look, 
Oh, you look great. Thanks. Thanks, Harry. No yep. worries. So this is my morning routine, my beauty routine. <laughs> <laughs> this is what our camp is looking like. A bit messy. Open up all the... Get, get a little bit of light in it. It's nice. Oop, no way. Um, yes, that is a 240 volt kettle. Um, when it's night time, you don't want to get out and heat water up for a bottle. 240 volt kettle is great. It's a collapsible 1000 watt one. It's lovely in here. Honestly lovely. It makes it look a lot darker on camera, but it's, it's really nice. A uh, little bit of nerdiness. Um, solar. What do we do? So we've got 200 amp hours of lithium in here. We've got a manager 30, which does all of our um, management. Now it's very shady right now, so we're getting only getting seven and a half amps, or 100, 100 watts. That's in shade. Um, uh, earlier on, we were getting about 315, 320 watts, so about 22 amps. Now, solar, what you have. 300 watt KT solar blanket, 200 watt companion. This is one of the ones that stands up like that. Or you can obviously lay it flat. The great thing about this is it's really heat efficient because it lets the heat, lets it breeze behind. So that's a, that's a really big advantage. And then connected to the car, we've got a red arc 112 watt amorphous. This is amazing in low light. Um, and then on the roof, there's a 120 watt fixed red arc solar panel. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Over it all, we get about high 30s of charge. So like 38 amps kind of thing over the whole thing, which is insane. So 150 amps of lithium in the car, 200 in there, 38 amps of charge. We are not short on solar or charge. Like every day, everything is fully charged. So even in, even in cloudy conditions. So 732 watts of solar. It's not crap. It's not crap at all. We went out for lunch, got some stuff from the supermarket, and I um, uh, picked a couple of leeks out of the garden. So <laughs> just been getting them ready. There's stuff everywhere. Um, and that is in preparation for a, film, a cooking episode. In fact, that cooking episode will be the one that is now out. So it'll be the previous episode to this, um, which I've done, I've done that meal a few times before, and it's a bloody good one it's actually the one from the last camping vlog so um it's about it's time now quarter past three i'll start getting ready at about four to do the episode and we'll start filming at about five or twenty past five <coughs> mm. so uh we are about to film an episode Bill is, has been in a much better mood today, by the way. He's been in a great mood. He's done really well. So we're not worried about Bill anymore. Um, hopefully I get a good night's sleep. Uh, just waiting for this sun to bug off. As you can tell, it's very bright. Um, got my camera set up. That's why I'm filming this on my phone. <laughs> Usually I'd use the... That's that's my normal vlogging camera, little A7C. Uh, not with that lens, the little lens and that little tiny microphone. This is my main camera. It's an A7 III, and that's what we're cooking. Yeah. Bill's going to go and have a bath over here. In the... Uh, Baby spa room. Very, yeah, very flash spa. This is great. So we always leave the water in this afterwards and then pour it on the fire when we go to bed. And then put ash everywhere. <laughs> Everyone's favourite. <laughs> Everyone's favourite. How you going, Bill? Having a great time. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. You love the bath. Don't you? Great old time. Well, we're going to call that a night, I think. Um, did the episode. 
all had a good feed. The others washed up. It's a great thing about being a cook. Maybe someone else washes up. And I think we're going to sit back, have a couple of drinks and, and enjoy the fire. Because we can. Look at that sunset. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put up a little bit of drone footage of, of this scene. It's just, just magic. Good morning, and it is a good morning. It's a lovely morning. It's absolutely beautiful down here. Um, <clears throat> we slept really well. Uh, Bill only got up once, so we're back to normal. We don't know what happened with there. A little bit of a hiccup. Could be the wind, could be the weather, just just general change of environment. He wasn't too happy about it. Um, he is currently being babysat. How good is this? I love this, this arrangement. So, you can see. We can just chat. Hi guys. The hey Billy. You having fun? We're having a great time. <clears throat> it's really nice. I like this. <clears throat> it's quite social. They can lay in bed and we can chat. <laughs> I can make them a coffee if I was a better person. Um, oh, but I'm coffee? not. No, I'm good. Oh, tea, please. I no. heard coffee. <laughs> Oh. You're getting your baby back until we get hot <laughs> Yeah, we'll keep him hostage. <laughs> you can have him. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> well, I think it sounds like I'm making some coffees. And, um, I don't know what the plan is today. We'll figure out as we go. We'll take you with you. But we'll take you with us. There you go. That's the one. Cheers. Good morning. Morning. How are we? Excellent. Bill is very content. He's had his second nap. <clears throat> How are you after a good night's sleep? Pretty good, actually. Yeah. Good. No complaints. Yeah, Brushed good. my hair. Yeah, look at that. No, I'm fancy, I know. I spoil fancy. you. Yeah. Um, mm. So, it's about, I don't know, 10 or something. And Long is, well... Busy in the kitchen. We're not going anywhere today. So we're having Bloody Marys. <laughs> And I'm very much looking forward to it. Alrighty. It is 12 o'clock. Where? <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> I've been caught <laughs> um, in Fiji. And um, it's the National Fijian Beer Drinking Day. So, cheers. So, we're gonna make some lunch. It is actually basically 12. Yeah, it could. It's like 11.30. So, I'm gonna do a little fire wrap. So, oh, new thing of sriracha, how fast? Cherry tomatoes, a little bit of sriracha. Oh, by the way, so I've got this, I, I was sent some salami from this company called The Salami Man. Hold on, let me get some. Now, I get sent a lot of random stuff, particularly food, and I almost never talk about it. I got this salami, not just the Veneto, they're all different brands, all different types, and in fact, the um, Cacciatore is 
some of the best salami I've ever had in my life. It tastes like it was made like in an old Italian person's like shed. It's in incredible. Uh, and the wild boar salami is just, you can get it online. Highly recommend it. Not, this is not sponsored, but that is awesome. Definitely go into them. Bit of cheese, then I'll grab my salami and sort this out. Cheers. Pepper. Ah, Pre-render it, it's much nicer. Gets the render out that fat. Um, roll that over. Back in the travel bra, and off we go. So I have to show you what the final result is. This toasted, it was obviously half a thing, but it's delicious, absolutely delicious. Mm. Such a good lunch on the road. Mm. Yeah, so this is what we're gonna do. Play cards, have a couple of beers. Fred back. Well, hey. you won't, but. Um, and <laughs> some chips and a nice healthy day. <laughs> Bill, no beers for you. Good morning. Uh, we are heading to Bremer today. Last night we had a really nice night. We actually had a little movie night. So I didn't really film yesterday because um, we didn't do anything interesting. But what we did do is have a little movie night inside their camper. Um, so the sheets ring up, little projector on. This is one of my filming mounts. And, um,. Watched a movie called The Merger. If you're Australian, you haven't seen The Merger, it's the modern The Castle, and it's absolutely fantastic. I love it. Um, <clears throat> so, slow pack up this morning, and then we're going to the beach. Um, the wind forecast for last night in Bremer was horrendous, and it looks like the next few days will be nice. So, I think we've just nailed this weather window. I'm very, very, very glad we stayed in, in Denmark. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to go make myself a coffee. So, uh, we have filled up the trailers with water um, and we've also filled up all these jerry cans. So we've got six water jerrys there and then two jerrys there. Um, now why am I carrying all eight jerrys? Oh that's easy. My trailer weighs 350 kilos less than, or 340 kilos less than Shane's um, and I have almost exactly double the power. So he's got a 2.8 diesel patrol, which produces 252 newton meters back in 99, and I produce 500. So weight, you know, he's already got, yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. So uh, <laughs> his, his car's not fast. Um, yeah, so it's good. It's, I think it's the way, way to do it. Just do what you're good at kind of thing. Just putting some air in my airbags. I'll put them up to about 45. And that'll make it sit pretty. I'll show you. Nice and level. Perfect. Well, Shane's just going to put a little bit of water in his trailer and we are good to go. Probably have lunch in Albany or something on the way through. Cheers. What do you think of the road this time without the um, without the aerial there? Yes, yeah, the so there last much. Time. Well, this time I can see the road, so that's, that's a win. That's definitely positive. It's just like it's just delightful to drive this car, and so I can go back to being relaxed while I drive it, rather yeah. than having this really annoying thing right in the middle of my vision. It's great. Perfect. Fabulous. So we're about an hour away from camp. Um, it's been a very relaxing drive. Um, the drivers in Albany were biblically terrible. Uh, they, I think it's just the tourists or something, because I saw more dodgy driving in like five minutes in Albany than I did the month before that. It's incredible. Um, yeah, so we'll air down and then cruise to camp. We'll probably get to camp about 5, 5.30, so a bit late. Uh, we were pretty pretty slow packing up. Um, <laughs> it's funny, packing up this camp 
uh, it wouldn't have mattered if I had a two minute rooftop tent. It was gonna take 45 minutes to pack up camp, minimum. Just because we took everything out of the drawers, everything out of, like we put like nothing away. It's full of like mess and like dirty washing and every surface was filthy. We just needed like, it needed to be cleaned and tidied and that took, how long did it take to pack up camp? Hours. Two and a half hours? Yeah. Easily. Something like that? Yeah. It was ridiculous. Just because there was crap everywhere. Nothing to do with the setup. Everything to do with shit everywhere. <laughs> Everything to do with how we'd been using the setup. <laughs> exactly. So rank. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. It was perfect. Yeah. Because we were completely relaxed. So relaxed. Yeah. So relaxed. It's great. Alright. Uh, I'll see you, see you in a little bit. Uh, the spot I wanted is actually free, and um, you're good, huh? Just come and have a walk around. We'll have a look. Just go straight. Just park straight. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. Huh? Uh, just come for a walk around. Just, just stay there. Beautiful spot here. Um, check this out. Check this out. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. All this under, like, it's just a beautiful area. Really, really protected. And then it goes straight through to the beach. And you don't actually have to drive on the beach. It's a bit of a sandy track in, but no actual beach driving. Look at this. Just look at this. So, set up, um, we haven't planned dinner or anything like that because it's, like, it's quite late. Um, our camp is looking fantastic. This, so good. Bill is having a little bath. Yeah, he's about to have a bath. Is he naked? No, not yet. No, not, not yet? Not, not naked yet. yet. Not yet a naked baby. Soon to be a naked baby. Having a great old time, bath here. Yeah, it's a good system. Camper, it's all looking good. Let's go out. Um, the others haven't quite finished setting up. They started after us, um, and our camp is a little, little bit faster. Um, so, anyway, um, for dinner, I think we're going to have burgers. Um, so, um, I'm just going to do. I've got my compact bry, uh, chuck some charcoal in there, and um, some burgers. A little, little charcoal barbie. Great. Right, I might do that now actually. Right. We actually, we actually accidentally, uh, I got bagels by accident. Um, that's all they had in the supermarket. Um, so yeah. But those are our burgers. Uh, review, what do you think? Wicked. Awesome. 10 out of 10. I would say two thumbs up, but one of my thumbs is currently holding my last morsel of burger. So one thumb up. All right, one thumb up. Mm. All right, that's it. That's it for us for this. In fact, that's it for the blog. The blog, blog, vlog. Um, I might put up a little bit of pretty pictures at the end. But thank you for tagging along. Um, it's been a really good fun trip so far. But from now, for the rest of the trip, I need some no camera time. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.